Well, that's a bit rubbish, Daddy. Hello, folks. In this video, I'm going to be doing a quick and easy leatherwork project to help relieve those coronavirus blues. I hope you enjoy it. Stay tuned to see what I'll get up to. I'm starting off, I've bought a pair of these acrylic uh, reborn dolls eyeballs for people who make these uh, sort of imitation babies. Uh, I got them off eBay and I'm just making a template here, uh, or prototype, out of some cardboard for my key fob. Just uh, checking that it all works and the sizes of everything and checking it with the eyeballs. I then cut out a template from some plastic card polystyrene sheet. I use this to cut out some leather. This is three or three point five millimeter veg tan leather that I got off eBay. Using very sharp knives and scalpels just to uh, to cut that out. Just taking my time, get a nice neat sharp edge. Working my way round with a scalpel. There we go, all cut out. Then going to thread the key ring on before I do anything else. So that's in position. It all folds up nice. And I've got some thinner veg tan leather here and I'm cutting a slot to form the eyelids. Just checking that over the eyeball. I then soak this in a bit of tepid water just for sort of 30 to 60 seconds. And I've cut out some bits of hardboard to form a mould. This was an old draw base that I cut up. So here's the wet leather and it moulds really easily while it's like this. But it also marks easily so you've got to be careful. Now, it's a bit freaky as you push down this uh, disc the uh, eye kind of opens. But press it all flat and the leather moulds really nicely and once I've got it how I want it I clamp it up and then I left it for an hour or two just to uh, take a basic shape while that was doing that I wetted the uh, back of the uh, key fob or cased it as they say just you know, quite wet on the surface there and that enables me to use my brass logo stamp uh, with the arbor press this is a one ton arbor press making sure i got the stamp the right way up and correctly positioned and i get it under the arbor press and give it a good squashing i'll just keep the pressure on there just for uh, about 20 seconds or so and that's come out really nicely back indoors then and you can see that that's really formed that leather incredibly well i damp the actual key fob itself a little bit now and i position that over the eyelids and i'm going to clamp it up again i'm using a paper towel just to wick the moisture out from between the uh, bits of fiber board clamping it up so i've got the key fob and the eyeball and the eyelids and I left this overnight in the airing cupboard so it all dried out and set in its position so here I'm uh, just splitting it all apart and test fitting it all back together with the eyeball which uh, looks a bit weird when it moves like that and I'm just adding some detail here, just using some uh, red acrylic paint. Contact adhesive, both surfaces, let it lose its tackiness, and then carefully position them together and press it all firmly down. I then clamped it up again just for 20 minutes or so took it out cut off the excess of the thinner leather just cut that away and then i'm using a bit of acrylic resiline uh, 
which is made by Feebings, and this is just a treatment that helps um, preserve the surface of the leather. I did this without the eyeball in place because I didn't want to get this onto the eyeball because it would be difficult to clean off, and I wanted the eyeball to stay glossy. The eyeballs I'm using are just very cheap acrylic ones. The glass ones look better, but they're a lot more money. And I was trying to keep the cost down on this. Next job is uh, more contact adhesive on both surfaces again. Making sure you get the eyeball in place before you press it together. Once you're happy, just line the sides up really carefully and squeeze it together really firmly. You can see it's beginning to take shape now. Bits of fiberboard again just to clamp it. I left that for 20 minutes or so. There you go. I did use my bench sander, the disc on it, to sand the edges smooth and flush. And then a number two edge beveler around the side. And this is a stitch groover. And this uh, cuts a groove ready for the stitches to lay in. Two prong stitching iron or pricking iron. Keeping it upright as I hammer it through. This ensures that you get the same spacing. There you go, it's all ready for stitching. Very pleased with how that looks. And then it's uh, time for some saddle stitching. So I'm using some waxed thread. I think this is one millimetre waxed thread. I put a needle on each end. It's a two needle job. Clamped it in a stitching pony. Pull the thread through so it's centred. Go in one, wrap it round. Put the other needle through and then pull it tight. And repeat. Through, wrap, other needle through. And pull it tight. And keep going round. The same thing each time and you get a nice neat stitch. If you want to see a bit more info on saddle stitching, there's some really good videos on the internet. And I've done one on making a stool, which is worth watching. D Daddy, that looks dreadful. Oh, sorry. I'll take them out. <laughs> Dad? Sorry it's been a long while, folks, but I'm back with a video, albeit a daft one. Just a simple, quick project keeping me amused while we're all uh, housebound and avoiding everybody else uh, at least it gives me a little bit of workshop time sorry I've not been around lately with videos but health matters and things have got in the way but feeling good now apart from the uh, feeling of impending trouble that we have at the minute with this virus anyway I hope all of you are staying safe and out of trouble but there we go little leather key fobs get it to focus there's a little leather key fob there eyeball one side my logo the other they're all uh, hand stitched saddle stitched yeah yeah it's quite a simple project an enjoyable one bit of wet molding bit of stitching so lots of different techniques you know, like I say, I hope you're all safe and well, and uh, and I shall be back soon with some more stuff, hopefully. There's a few shots of the uh, key rings. I'm trying out a gimbal for the first time for this first thing, just to see uh, how I get on. Not great, need a bit of practice, but uh, yeah. I was very pleased with how they came out, and it was a good fun project caused uh, the family a bit of amusement anyway but there we are I did actually um, coat the whole key ring with resilin at the end just to protect it but you could use um, a wax there's a few stills but the veg tan leather works well for this it will darken with time Anyway, thanks every, everyone for subscribing. I'm almost on 40,000 subs now. 
So please like, share and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notifications. Please like, share and subscribe. My daddy needs all the help he can get. More rubbish coming soon. I do occasionally put stuff on Instagram and Facebook and occasionally I might even sell stuff on my Etsy shop. There'll be links in the description and on my uh, YouTube channel page. So check those out if you want to.